On a recent trip to Germany, I found myself at Dusseldorf Airport, one of the few places on the planet with a suspension railway, or suspended monorail, and one of only four in the world of this particular design type. So let's take a look. The Dusseldorf Skytrain runs for 2.5 kilometres between the main terminal building and mainline rail station, with an intermediate stop for airport parking. Monorails have always appeared in space-age fantasies as the transport solution of the future, but the added costs of specialist track and vehicles, coupled with often uninspiring aesthetics, in reality makes them far less appealing than more conventional light rail offerings. They are, however, not without their benefits. The Skytrain is based on a design by French company Safage, and it's implemented here by Siemens. The cars are suspended from their bogies, which are fully enclosed by the track above. Unlike a conventional railway, or even the world's first ever suspension railway at nearby Verpital, this protects the moving parts from poor weather, allowing for more reliable, autonomous operation without a driver or conductor. The wheels themselves are rubber, so you could actually question whether this is a railway at all, or more of a guided busway. So why would you build a suspension railway over a conventional one? Well, one benefit of this system is that it weaves above and beside existing infrastructure and buildings with minimal land required to support its footprint. This results in less disruption during construction. Having the rails above the cars means that the lower portion of the train swings outwards using pneumatic springs as it traverses curves at higher speed. This allows a suspension railway to have tight and high speed curves. It also results in a more comfortable experience for the passenger, as the lower half of your body moves more than your upper half, with your head experiencing less of that buffeting sensation you'd get on a conventional train. Unfortunately, those added costs associated with developing unique vehicles and track, coupled with day-to-day -day logistical issues such as how do you evacuate passengers in case of emergency, means that this is sadly not the future of rail travel. It nevertheless remains an interesting quirk in the story of mass transit design.